Hi, thanks for coming back to the chopping block. So uh, quite a while ago, I did a test of 10 millimeter pervy partisan 180 grain jacketed hollow point. I'll throw a link up there if you care, but if you recall in that test, the velocity that I got out of it was barely 40 Smith and Wesson velocity. It was about 800, almost 900 feet per second, which is really slow for 10 millimeter, obviously. Intercooler sent me some more 10 millimeter ammo from Pervy Partisan, 180 grain jacketed hull point, which is supposed to be a little bit warmer, so I went ahead and tested that again. Um, so, same load, but theoretically warmer. Let's take a look and see what happens. One zero zero seven. One zero zero seven. Well, I had several of these in a bag. Intercooler sent them to me, and I thought that they were the newer batch. It was supposed to be a little bit warmer. It looks like I'm incorrect there. Well, I suppose it's got to happen sometime. I was wrong once before, you know. See, I thought I was wrong, but I was mistaken. In this case, it turns out that I was actually wrong. So, I don't know. I don't really like repeating a test, but I guess it's just as well that I did, you know, because sometimes it's, you know, it's nice to have more data points there. It's nice to confirm earlier results, and, well, I'd call that well and truly confirmed. This is a little different, but I think what happened here is that it actually started to come out of the block and bumped into the table. Not sure. There's definitely jacket separation. And there's a core there. Doesn't look like doesn't look like there was a whole lot of doesn't look like there was a whole lot of expansion going on there. But you know can't really expect much for cheap Serbian ammo. It's interesting. Okay, so you heard me second guess myself there a little bit, and it turns out that this actually is the warmer stuff. The earlier Pervy Partisan 180 grain did about 880 feet per second. So this is warmer than that, but it's still not anywhere near 10 millimeter velocity. And on top of that, it doesn't expand when fired through heavy clothing, and we got jacket separation. This failed in about every way it possibly could. But I've also heard some anecdotal reports that the brass is rather hard and will crack on the second firing. This is a little disappointing because Pervy Partisan is usually some pretty decent ammo. At least I like their 75 grain and 69 grain boat tail hollow points in 223 and their M193 clone. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Oh, you're good!